I love using it, I have to say that actually, because immediately as soon as you approach a new topic, you've got the knowledge and you feel so supported. I think particularly at year six level, we have to go at such a depth now and all that knowledge is there for the teacher. As I was an NQT last year, I had really no idea how to start with planning. Snap Science is a really good format, kind of you have the inquiry skills and then the children explore, so it was a very different setup. You know what the national curriculum is asking for, but to be able to then break that down and what does that look like and how does that look like in a lesson is really tricky. So I think what Snap Science does is breaks that down into those individual lessons with a specific objective so that you can step by step show in progress, show that journey of learning. It very much focuses on activity based lessons. So a lot of the formative assessment is through questioning, which is fantastic because you definitely get more of an understanding on whether children understand. If I just release one. <laughs> In another sense, as children who don't have as great writing skills and things, it very much gives those children opportunity to actually just express what they've learned. What do you think? It starts with a question. Why do instruments need air to play music and, and things like that? What would change if I now made three holes? And that's really good because then they get on point and they get really excited about finding out and then letting me know. And then we all feed back at the end so the learning outcome is really, really clear straight away. 